this is Eternal Plays Final Fantasy 1. We have overcome the main storyline by beating Chaos, and now we also gone through the Soul of Chaos dungeons by going through the Earthquake Shrine, Hellfire Chasm, uh, Life Spring Grotto, and the Whispering Cup. And there's one more thing to do because we're playing an anniversary edition of Final Fantasy 1, that is the edition called Labyrinth of Time. Now we get Labyrinth of Time spawning, you need to go back here to Cornelia. There will be a guy in a hood here, standing at the fountain. Talk to him and he will disappear. Well, these NPCs are so nice. Anyways, he um, will disappear. And then we have to uh, get actually to the Chaos Shrine in order for this NPC to appear again. This NPC, or should we say the person with the hood, is the one that will activate the actual challenge called the Labyrinth of Time. He'll appear here and then he'll vanish, telling you to go to the back of the Chaos Shrine to activate the whole sequence of the Labyrinth of Time, which can be very challenging. The Labyrinth of Time is very challenging and it has a bit different type of layout than the solo Chaos Dungeons have. Because here there are puzzle rooms in 9, 10 floors, and these are harder and also based on a time limit. Go to the wall here, interact with it to open the actual door to the actual place. That door appears. Herein lies the labyrinth of time. The dominion of he who roams the myriad eons, the master of time. Transcending time and space, the master now occupies this shrine. Ye who have entered this place undoubtedly possesses powers worthy of his honor. However, all you have come to know about how the world works will be called into question here. Devices and puzzles designed to test your metal are bound within the halls of the labyrinth. The miasma drains the power of those who are out of time and monsters soon swarm about the weak. Sacrifice an ability to the light of time beforehand to buy time to keep the miasma at bay. Only by solving the mysteries of each floor can you progress through the labyrinth. Near each device and puzzle, there's a tablet. Consult the tablet to activate the floor. Those who overcome challenges with the time lift break the blue seal, revealing the path of the proven. Those who proceed after time has run out breaks the Red Sea to a place befitting their power. It goes without saying, there is no turning back. Bear this in mind as you go forth. Let's enter. This means that this place has puzzle levels all the time, they are on a time limit, and in order to go to the next floor you need to beat the actual challenge, regardless if you have time left or not. When time goes away, there will be a miasma swarming, and you'll take one damage every two seconds, like you are on a damage floor. And monster encounters will be a bit more often than there are in normal. But you can still do the challenge until you have beaten it, and you can go to the next floor. Now, how does time work here, though? This one does it. I am the light of time. Those who seek to traverse my halls must first provide me with an offering. In exchange for the power you sacrifice, I offer you the precious gift of time. So here we see it. Now we get three different kind of commands. So the kind of gift that we can get here in terms of what we can enter through is that the time you see the, the thing gives. For example, no flick command gives us 4 minutes and 18 seconds. No magic command gives us 2 minutes and 35 seconds. No items give us 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's go with that one. But do remember though, when you are in random battles, the time will still tick. So if you are uh, thinking of going to fight, then you might want to be careful here. Very well, be on your way. So once you've chosen a command to sacrifice, the time will be added when you go into the next floor. And here we go. This floor, this is again. 
a random battles can occur, which is very annoying, but that's just how this game is. You can fight or you can flee, depending on what you want to do with the time. Remember, time still passes in the random battles. So you want to think about if you want to flee or if you just want to fight. Start the key in the how the first fairy moves. After fairies dance, seek the first fairy out and speak unto her. Accomplish this and the patch will unfold before you. The floor has been activated. Now you see some fairies. On with the show! Now to find a fairy that has the same movement that the other one had. And I can always see which one it is, it is this one. The blue seal has been broken. That means that the fairy I chose was the correct one. Now the blue seal has been broken and we can now enter the next room as you can see here. Now this is the red seal, so if we had gone the red one, it would have broken the red seal and we could go off from there. But since we already have gone down the puzzle here, which was pretty easy, then we can already start moving on to the next one. That's the first floor. Medieval Dungeon. I am the light of time. Those who seek to traverse my halls must first provide me with an offering. In exchange for the power to sacrifice, offer you the precious gift of time. Now you see it even more times. No flee and dash gives even more time than before, while attack half and defense half only gives a meshly minute and a half, like more of a minute. Which I kinda think is that kinda crap, but... Ah well, let, let us just take the safety road here and let's go for no flee command. Well, actually, don't go for no items. I think that's better. Very well. Be on your way. Remember the timer only begins to have to go through this next part, so check your stuff if you want to. What I want to do here. Let's proceed. The time begins straight away. The evil dungeon. Lots of random battles. Nothing you can do about that, they will still keep ticking. Not much to do. is down there. Oh wow, ambushed by eight targets. Are you kidding me? No, that is what I would call super horrible bad luck. Eight enemies ambush you, that's gonna take at least 30 seconds of your time only waiting for these enemies to finish their fighting. Let's just flee from these ones. Unless they're faster than me, that would be kinda crap. Luckily, we can go away, away, straight away. Holy crap, the random battles. Six enemies. Nah, let's just flee. Study the forms that pass and answer the questions posed. Should you answer correctly, the pass shall... The paths shall... The paths shall unfold before you. Damn it, I'm a bit weird today. The answer mistakenly speak with uh, unto he within. The floor is activated. The spirits who haunt this dungeon materialize in the northeast. Watch them well. number in the order came the broom. I think it came number five, but I'm pretty sure. Unwisely. Okay. 
do it again. It can be a bit annoying, so I just had to do it again. So fast. The beaver was last at least. Fairy was pretty early, I think. Yep. Oh, that was lucky. Last question is the mining order. I think that was the dwarf. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I was a bit unsure if I think we made the dancer, but I think sure it was the dwarf. So I was a bit lucky there. I actually guessed on the two bottom ones. Now the blue seal has been broken, and that means we can now advance to the next part. Now, even though we have already beaten... Even though we have already... Uh, wow, nine enemies! Why is this game so RNG to me today? Oh, come on! I can't step three steps before I get a random battle? Are you kidding me? So what I was saying is that I was a bit lucky there. I got through the floors based on luck because I only guessed the two other ones. I knew the beaver was last, but I wasn't really paying attention to the fairy, but I think it was early. And of course the, um, the dwarf I know was one of the last ones. Okay, so this is going good so far. Two floors has been done. We have still eight more to go. We'll do at least two more floors, I think, here, depending on how good I do on them and depending on how hard they are. Some of these floors are extremely hard, and the other floors are actually easy. So it depends what floor we get. Okay, so next one. We sacrifice a lot of different ways. You can take no attack items, no dash. We have no item command again. And we have magic command. I'll just go for item command. Fight and dash, I think, is really important in case we want to kill the enemies, and I don't want to. I still want to keep the flea weeds. Very well, be on your way. Let's go to the next floor. Wow. I got to go three steps and I get a random bang. Are you kidding me? Oh shit, it's this one. Slip past the watchful eyes of the dragons to find a chest that will break the seal. Accomplish this and the patch will be fold in front of you. Should you come within three paces of the dragon's case, you should be expunged into this very place. This one I hate. So random battles can occur. You have to go through this kind of puzzle here, but you can't be more than three paces away from a dragon. Oh, of course he was three paces, because he moved so freaking fast. I've been discovered, so I'll be pushed back to start. One thing I really hate about this game. This one is there, can't go there. I need to meet where this guy moves away. Can go down. What? That was four! No, it was three. See, this one can be a bit hard. Dash can actually be good here, but I will say dash is really useful. Okay, let's just continue. Remember, it's four paces, so you just need to be out of his sight. Remember, it has to be his, his frontal head, so if I go now, if I'm behind him, that's good enough. Oh, come on! This is one of the hardest ones ever far. I actually read about guides about this one and people said this is one of the, the floors in which people don't even want to do the whole labyrinth of time because this floor is actually very hard. I'll have to wait for his dragon to bypass again. It's just going to be slow. Can't 
triangle now, but he's gonna turn his face around. Maybe not. What? He goes up, up, up here? Oh, are you kidding me? This floor is annoying. But at least if I can go through this floor, I won't need to go through it again. Can you move, dragon? No, not to me. Holy crap. Yeah, go that way. I can go this way. Is that it? Oh, the blue seal has been broken. Phew. Okay, that was a bit easier than I thought. It was actually all about going through that place instead. Like, there was no random battles here, but I think that was kind of expected. Since I'm in it left, but that's not really nothing to worry about. The Miasma can spawn, but yeah, I have already broken the blue seal, so it's nothing to worry about. Man, this floor, I actually remember I had a test run over this place, and I got frustrated with this level. But now at least we did it, and now we can move on to the next floor. Let's see, timer. Or actually, maybe one thing I actually just stop now and do floor 4, 5, 6, and maybe 7 in the next part. But now I'm going to face a lot of random battles. Sprinter Strike, that's just good, I can use a complete final cast. Come on! Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna kill that one. It'll be faster. What? I'm getting four random encounters in like ten steps. What? I... That's just bullshit. How many random encounters do I have to get? Now I see the Miasma comes. This happens when they run out of time, but don't worry though, the seal has been broken, but this timer still ticks when you're broken the seal. It's more about getting the Miasma random encounters. So that's just nothing important, it's just there to annoy the living hell out of you. And make you get panic. These enemies are making me pissed off at least. Oh come on, White Wizard, are you so dumb they can't even flee? Man, she's useless. Blue dragon, you're just there to become an asshole or what? Get away! Here we go, we can go to the next floor. Okay, so I'll do the next floor in the next part because, yeah. It took some time in this level when I thought, but this was more of an introduction as well of the dungeon. It took over five minutes of its own, so... Next floor we'll do at least floor 3, only floor 4, 5, 6, and maybe 7, hopefully do as well, maybe 8. And I'll do the final, and maybe can get all the way to the bottom floor, just have to wait and see. But at least in the, um, in the later part we will try to at least do one more part for this, and maybe not two. Because the last boss will indeed be its own part of its own, because it's very tough and can take while lying, quite a while to beat. Anyways, that will be it for this part. If you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.